who we are today is because of the choices that we made in the past and the choices and who we will be in the future will be because of the choices we choose to decide as we take each and every step we take moving forward. All right, I'm Josh V. Castro, you handsome and beautiful, gorgeous person that's living on Earth or Mars. By the time you're watching this video, you could be on Mars or on the moon or wherever humanity brings us. And in this video, we're going to be talking about choices. That's right. We are now on day seven, I believe, on hashtag project nine minute video where I make a video about a topic for nine minutes long just to hone my on camera presence skill my enunciation how i present myself to you guys to to youtube because or instagram or wherever this video is going to be uploaded and yeah that's the choice i made today and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video like i said so choices choices like i said you are who you are today because of the choices you made all right that's a fact because every day we make choices in japanese it's arabe Right, which means choices. You have to choose. You have to decide the things you want to do, what you want to eat, when you want to wake up, what you want to wear, where, where, what you want to learn. All right, what you want the day to become is an outcome of what you decide to do. All right, be it subconsciously, unconsciously, or be it, you know, for what's that word? On purpose or not on purpose. You make a choice. All right, and then you have to live with those choices that you make. Be it good or bad because you know choices equals outcome and then outcome will either determine whether your emotional state at that time is either good or bad depending on whether the outcome is good or bad so that's the choice that you made all right as with yesterday's video i talked about excuses right you know excuses ties in with choices because you know when you make an excuse all right which you shouldn't you know then you know then yeah who's to blame right let's blame the world but no you chose to make whatever action that resulted in that outcome which now you make an excuse to blame whatever but it was your choice so see that's why choices tie in with excuses because you know if you can understand you know at a fundamental level at the basic at the ground level that oh okay I did this, then I did that, and it became that, and I did that, not them, it was my choice, it was my responsibility, it was my conscious will that drove me to do a certain action, oh, then it's actually my fault, so there's no more need for an excuse. The only time you can actually make an excuse is for weather or for those the, what there's a term for that I, don't, I, don't, I forgot what it's called but things that are out of your control like calamities weather a pandemic for instance that that's probably not in your control even though if you do have the choice to stay at home and wear a mask <sighs> there still will always be the possibility that you can contract some sort of virus whatever that virus may actually be right right 2020 vision i mean i don't have that 2020 vision yeah so yeah you have the choice to live the life that you want so i i i implore you who's watching this to make your choice you know you're deciding to do something you want to make a youtube channel you want to be a content creator you want to follow your passion you want to pursue your dreams all right that's the choice you make but then when you wake up the next day you don't decide to actually apply those to you know to apply the decisions that you decided to make you know to apply the thoughts you know the actions take action on the things you want to pursue that's your choice and if if a month passes by if a year passes by if a decade passes by and you still haven't taken action on what you wanted to do that's on you okay it's that's not because there was an earthquake last year or or there's a pandemic going on. There's always workarounds. So you you have to find loopholes. We're resourceful human beings. You know, be resourceful. All right, think outside of the circle. See what I did there? All right, you have to think outside, and then you know, imagine a situation 
imagine a current version of yourself being what you actually want to be. And it's by the choice that you made, you know, in the past, in the present, or a choice that you're going to make in the future, that's going to decide the outcome of such. So, decide and choose. Choose wisely. Right? Decisions are... You know, you have to also choose wisely. That's actually a thing. Because, you know, don't make bad decisions. You know, you have to actually research, you know, or take in consideration, you know, there's values, beliefs, principles, faith um, that can determine whatever outcome. But, you know, you have to take a a logical standpoint that doesn't inter- erupt, interrupt, that doesn't disrupt, you know, your society. Like, don't make the choice to hurt someone. That's not good. All right, the, the, you know, because, you know, the outcome of that, you might go to jail or you might get penaltied and fined with some sorbent amount, which you don't want. And then that's the choice that you made, which is probably not a good choice. So you have to dis- you have to discern good and bad, which, you know, if you're an adult watching this, then you should know by now what that is. So make the right choices. I'm like, if you have a, if you want to if you want to lose weight, if you want to get fit. Don't make it a don't don't make don't make the choice not to wait. Where was I going with that? I have no idea. Wait, don't you have to make a choice not to? Yeah, I'm lost. I'm lost in thought. All right, I, I chose I chose the wrong example for that. So yeah, this yeah. yeah this is challenging, honestly. And we're still six minutes in. I'm like I have to. Yeah, I'm <laughs> honestly I'm all out of of thoughts on whether or not what choices. What, what are the things I can say about choices? Forgive me. Wait. Let me just pause and look at you for a bit. All right, you. You handsome person. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, let's just, you know, let's intertwine this with the past videos. Like, like a schedule, right? You can choose to make a schedule or not. It's up to you. Just know that. But, but for example, if you do decide to choose... To make a schedule, your life will be more laid out. And will actually, you know, a schedule is not a damn prison, as Jordan Peterson said. It's a it's it's a guideline that will actually help you. You know, just think of it as a guide. It guides you through the day and it actually, you know, makes you conscious of the things that you want to do. That's the choice you made. All right? You made the choice to make a schedule. So that's a good example. Actually, that more that inclined more into scheduling rather than choices but you know choose who you want to become basically all right imagine the person you want to be become a year don't think don't think in the immediate terms don't think like right now or think in the think in the future okay think of that person that you want to become you want to be this videographer all right then make an action plan all right try to find the choices that are necessary to actually achieve that goal. Is that, it's not simple. It sounds simple. Actually, it is simple. It's just not easy. It's not easy, honestly. All right? Because, you know, with choices that have actually uh, complex stuff connected to them, it'll take willpower. I think I'm going to talk about willpower in the next video. I think that's a good topic. All right, so hopefully you guys did find this useful. All right, I do apologize to a certain extent. Uh, This is Project 9-Minute Video. All right, that's 9 minutes. See ya.